Here's something to think about. How many people do you think will be sleeping in homeless shelters, on the streets or in their vehicles where you live tonight? It's a thought provoking question, one that many of us prefer not to dwell on, but the reality is that homelessness is growing rapidly all across the country. Let's talk about this. All right, so I want to take a quick minute, share some thoughts. It's been a while, but yet I come across different articles throughout the day and I read them and really get me thinking. I thought I would just take a moment, share it with you and let you guys, you know, chew on some things that's happening outside the primary things, what's going on. We have a lot of excitement about silver prices right now going above $25 an ounce. Gold trending back towards 2000. The bogus CPI figures are about 3% or so. A lot of things are distracting us right now from what's happening in the main street, referring to the average Joe and Jane that has no clue as to what's really going on out here. So there's a lot of figures coming out about how bad things are for the average person. And majority of the people have no clue as to what's really going on. And so it just makes me grateful that I've been covering this for so long to where it's easier for me to see as well as for yourself. But what about the other people who have no clue? Life is still moving forward, but not the same for everybody. While the wealthy may be enjoying their lives, dying at different restaurants, night in and night out, owning second, third homes, the poor are becoming even poorer. And the middle class is slowly disappearing. The gap between the wealthy and the rest of the nation has reach unprecedented levels, creating immense tension in our society. Look no further than California, where vast hordes of homeless people sleep in the shadows of multi-million dollar homes every single night. And despite California's staggering 17.5 billion spent on combating homelessness over the last four years, the homeless population in the state has continued to grow tremendously. In fact, half of all Americans living on the streets reside in California with more than 170,000 unhoused individuals struggling to find shelter. That's just in one state. Keep in mind that these numbers only represent those that they can count, while many others remain hidden or intentionally uncounted. But it's not just California. Family homelessness in the United States is also on the rise. Data from 20 of the largest cities in the nation reveals a 37.6 increase in family homelessness in just one year. This surge can be attributed to the rising cost of goods, a tightening of the housing supply, as well as the affordability of those same houses, and the termination of the post-pandemic benefits. Homeless people would love to have a home, but housing costs has grown beyond reach for the majority of people. And in the midst of this great reset agenda, where the goal is to make sure that every homeowner becomes a renter, even renting is becoming a problem. Renting a cramped converted apartment in, the New in New York City can cost as much as $2,300 per month. And purchasing a home is now out of reach for tens of millions of Americans due to soaring interest rates. It's not just the housing costs that's skyrocketing. Auto insurance rates are also are increasing by double digit percentages across the nation as well, as insurance companies face significant losses. So basically, if your income hasn't kept up with the rising costs, you're falling behind severely. And unfortunately, the cost of living isn't slowing down and the consequences are dire. Middle class Americans are sliding into poverty while the poor are finding themselves on the streets. To make it even worse, homeless encampments are sprouting all over America. In Sonoma County, California, a government sanctioned homeless encampment has been set up near the local courthouse. Up to 100 homeless individuals are living there, a result of the declared crisis shelter in the region. So for those who are financially secure, it may be easy to turn a blind eye to these issues. But the truth is, a day of reckoning is coming for the wealthy as well. During the early stages of the economic crisis, the poor will be hit the hardest. But eventually, even those that are at the top will feel the pain. The stark reality is that we're living in a society plagued by growing inequality, where the rich thrive while others suffer. So you should ask yourself how the growing gap between the rich and the poor affects you and your community. Is there anything that can be done about this problem to make society more fair at this current moment? These are just some of the problems that the average person has, but they don't know why. You know, we can talk about the problems all day, but the only way to solve them is to take small steps. And some of these steps would be just simply taking the time and effort to speak with people who may be caught up in some of the circumstances I'm talking about today about our monetary and fiscal problems that's caused by people in Washington, D.C., as well as Wall Street. Identifying the people who are to blame for financial repression and debt enslavement can hopefully cut on the light bulbs for some, allowing them to realize they have become victims of a system that was set up and designed to put them in the predicament they're in now without them even knowing. So taking the time to become an educator yourself, offering solutions like monetary awareness methods, such as protecting themselves against inflation with sound money, as well as being able to start creating their own reserves when it comes to food, energy, and other things that they'll need on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as hopefully being able to get some traction for their future. These small steps might not seem important to you right now, but there was a time when you didn't know about them because you were asleep at the wheel as well. So just taking a few minutes to share my thoughts. I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Share your thoughts in the comment section. And let's get some back and forth going. And beyond just talking about it now, are there any other ways that you guys can suggest that as a community we can start doing or do collectively that can bring some hope and possible change into individuals' lives one by one? Anyway, curious to hear your thoughts. If you found value, hit the thumbs up button. Definitely subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you'll be notified. And I'll catch you on the next video.